Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh and in this video we are going to discuss the intuition behind novelty and outlier detection. Here is the list of topics that we are going to go through. So to begin with, what is the difference between novelty and outlier? Let's say we have a couple of data points shown here in the left figure. We have this set in the bottom left and then we have this one point that's away from this a cluster. So if we are looking at a data set where this particular point is of interest, then we would consider it as a novelty as shown in here. And if the data point is such that we are not interested in it, then we'll consider that as an outlier. Uh, one example of novelty would be uh, credit card fraud transactions. So if most of the transactions are good, uh, those would appear here and those could appear here and then if there is one fraudulent transaction uh, we in that case we would be interested in detecting those and therefore that could be called as a novelty detection whereas in this case let's say if you are trying to measure pH of water and you know for sure that the pH of water falls within this particular range and then there is this one data points that way outside then it's could be probably due to some measurement error and so we are not interested in that data point. And scikit-learn, the method is implemented uh, using dot fit dot predict, I think dot fit predict, fit underscore predict as well. And there is decision dot decision underscore function. The output labels are one for inliers and minus one for outliers. So in this case, these would be labeled as one and this would be labeled as minus one. And the way you can tune the thresholding of this is by using the contamination parameter and can get the output scores by using negative underscore outlier underscore factor underscore. And for outlier and novelty detection, these are the uh, methods available so fit predict is available for outfit underscore predict is available for outlier detection and uh, whereas the fit whereas the predict by itself and decision underscore function is available for our novelty detection and then we can get the scores for both of these here is an example directly copied here from the docs and I have the reference uh, right uh, here on the right hand side. So this is an interesting uh, uh, diagram, a picture where we can see a direct comparison between different methods. They have robust covariance, which uses the elliptical shape. Then we have one class SVM, and we have isolation forest, and then finally we have the out local outlier factor. So in each of these cases, you can see there is a different way in which it tries to find the normal data and tries to separate it from the noise that's shown here by the blue dots. Now to begin with, the very bottom row is all random noise and so it should not find any clusters in there. So these all look reasonable except um, the one class SVM seems to fit, do a little overfit here. And in case of elliptical shapes, so for the robust coherence, as the name suggests, this is robust to outliers and it it is able to find a clusters of the same density, clusters of varying density, as well as uh, clusters uh, arranged in a different geometrical shape, such as curves. One class SVM, again, is able to find the clusters with varying densities. Uh, as well as varying shapes and same thing with isolation forest now with local outlier detection uh, there is no uh, line uh, dark line that's separating these and the reason from for that is it does not have the predict method uh, for the local outlier detection and so here what we see is these are detected as the inliers whereas the Others are the outliers and does a pretty good job at detecting both uh, clusters that have similar density and different densities and different shapes. 
Now for novelty detection, the general idea then is we think of the data point as coming from a particular known distribution. Let's say the orange data points are coming from a distribution that is shown here by this uh, black line. Now, if we have data points such as the one shown by the magenta, then uh, if those data points appear to come from a di different distribution or if they do not come from the distribution that we have here shown here, then those would be considered as the novelty data points or uh, because they are away from what is normal. And in case of the fitting an elliptical orbit for outlier detection, if you remember the use of Mahalanobis distance, uh, we covered that extensively in the previous uh, videos in this series. Essentially what we are trying to do is fit an elliptical shape to this. So let's say the orange data points here are arranged at, a, at an angle. So feature one seems to be correlated with feature two. Now these are there are additional these uh, magenta data points which seems to be outliers. So what we can do is we can uh, create an ellipse uh, ellipse based on the covariances, and uh, then we can find if a data point is closer to the center of that ellipse or not. So for example, if we directly calculate the Euclidean distance between this orange data point and this magenta data point which has a red border they both are equidistant so we cannot distinguish between them however we can clearly see that the orange data point is definitely from this cluster and the magenta is farther away so when we uh, use the covariance when we take into account the covariances then we can separate these out and so that's one way uh, we can use the uh, elliptic envelope to find outliers isolation forest is another method where you divide the data points uh, and find out how many divisions does it take to isolate a data point so let's say we have this set of data points and we create a first division here first separating line first partition and then by second partition we are able to isolate that data point so we can so that first would be two uh, and that's a typo there and similarly and this process would be repeated several times and then we can take the average and let's say the average comes out to be three and similarly we can repeat that for other data points let's say for this core data points that right in here uh, the average is comes out to eight so uh, we can then say come by comparing these how many iterations it took we can say that this particular data points is data point is likely an outlier uh, then there is another method called as local outlier factor so what this method does is it tries to compare the density of samples with its neighbor so detect samples that have a substantially lower density than its neighbor so we if we have data sets such as shown here the orange data points are uh, here and we have the other cluster right here now the this magenta data point is closer to the orange data points however uh, so it's an outlier in a local sense if we look at just the orange data points but if we look at the entire uh, set here it's midway between these two so in that case it's it may not be an outlier whereas if you look at this particular data point on the bottom right then that's definitely away from both of these blue and orange clusters so that is a that could be thought of as a global outlier and so what the local outlier factor helps us find is not only the global outliers but also the local outliers and we can use the local outlier factor for novelty detection purposes as well and to do that we need to specify novelty is equal to true when we are training on a data set finally for code snippet uh, we have uh, this data set shown here uh, the method would be similar as standard 
uh, scikit learn methods clf is equal to local outlier factor and here we can specify the neighbors by changing the number of neighbors we can tune uh, which data points could be considered as an outlier and then we have the fit underscore predict and we can get the score here i've also shown the graph uh, for this particular data set you can see there is a cluster here there is a cluster here and this could be thought of as a local outlier which is able to identify and it is also able to identify the global outlier so both of these are labeled as minus one in the output for clf dot fit underscore predict whereas uh, the other data points are labeled as just one so that was it for this video i hope in this video you got some intuition about what are uh, what is novelty detection what is outlier detection i hope to see you all in the next video until then please like share and subscribe thank you